Hello gamers! It's been a while since Splatoon 3 Side Order came out and I think all of us kind of just played through it a bunch, got burned out and then stopped playing it. Since it has been a while I kind of wanted to revisit this mainly because I watched a friend play it, uh -huh, you know who you are, and uh, I thought oh yeah I remember enjoying this a lot. But does it still stand to it being like this really cool fun mode now that it's been a couple of months later and that I've basically cleared anything? Since you guys seem to like the monochrome runs I did back in the day, back in the, it's only been half a year, well you know what I mean. I'm gonna go back in here and do a monochrome run, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with the blaster because I want to see how strong of a blaster can I actually make and we're gonna go for the orange one which is range okay we're gonna activate a bunch of our hacks okay very important to have the floor reset up have the double chip rate up and have color chip bias because we do want to have that orange bias for this run uh, we're not gonna have any of the drone power-ups because that's less chips that can show up in general that is actually a lie I remember doing some science on this and essentially the game picks the color first and then the thing within the color. So if you disable all of these so that you're not getting the drone abilities, realistically the thing you're not getting is more variety. So you'll be getting the same like drone abilities instead of whatever this is. Oh yeah, then there's this guy. I forgot about this guy. A daily gacha machine once per day and give you one of these random decorations in the mail. I always forget to do these because it's like a daily thing and it's just traveling back here just to talk to him. I ain't got time for that. Anyways, I do have time for this. So let's get started and see how the monochrome runs go. Is it just as fun as I remember? Or was it fun at the time? When you start out, it is a very slow Luna Blaster. It does big damage. Low range, big damage. Typical Luna behavior. Okay, and we are going to be doing orange only. I'm gonna go for main range because this, this thing has very little range and I'd like to be able to hit enemies far away. I am kind of curious, how many of you guys are still playing Side Order? Because it did come out like half a year ago. I'm curious, are there like dedicated Side Order players who are still enjoying this mode? Or did most of you drop it like after beating the main story, getting everything you wanted to get? I personally, I ended up dropping it. I mean, I think it's nice to have a mode where it's like you're done and that's it. You're done. There's no more. Just like this. You're done with the stage. You're finished. It's okay to complete things. Okay, we have turf lucky chain and hindrance damage. I think we go for hindrance damage. I don't know if this, this doesn't look like it's orange. This looks like it's from the power palette. But yeah, I don't know. Part of me thinks it's nice that there's games where you just finish it and it's done. I mean, the enjoyment of it is great. This also means you probably shouldn't rush through it, which... Modern gaming feels like we just rush through games all the time. I don't really take the time to enjoy them, but a lot of them are very well designed. Though these stages I'm already remembering. I'm like, man, I've played through this so many times. I, I still have the muscle memory from clearing this. Okay, well, we're gonna add main piercing, which is extremely broken. Basically, one blast stops at one enemy, but with main piercing, one blast will go through the one enemy and hit two enemies. And the fact that you can power it up even more makes it amazing. It's not so amazing on this stage, though. This stage is a very straightforward stage. Literally, you just you just push the ball straight forward, and and you and you. Okay, th that's it. Stage is over. I know it's supposed to be straightforward, but I'm struggling. Oh no! Oh heck! I've never struggled so much on the stage. Ah. Okay, maybe maybe the muscle memory is not as good as I remember it being. Maybe maybe the the muscle memory is failing me. Go ball, go. Roll, roll, roll the ball gently down the hill. I feel like I'm playing mini golf right now. Is it gonna reach? Or is it gonna maybe go push it? All right, we have attack ink size. Increases the size of your main weapon's shots, making it easier to hit enemies. I don't know how that works for the blaster, but if the game gives it to you, it typically means that it does the thing it's supposed to do. I don't... I can't... I cannot tell a difference. Alright, gets that. Uh, where is the other podium? They pushed it out! Oh my god! <laughs> no! No, the belugas! I thought we were safe. Okay, I'm struggling to navigate the balls with the, with this weapon. Navigating the balls is hard. All right, surely, surely the balloon will help me. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Magnetic field, magnetic. Yes, yes, magnetic. Thank you, thank you, magnetism. All right, here we actually don't have any. I think I'm gonna just go vending machine. Probably could have floor reset. Probably was cheaper than going vending machine, but kind of hoping for something nice in the vending machine. Hey, main range. That talks because something nice. Uh, only problem is we will be out of resets. Oh, 
Oh, we don't have enough mud bugs. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. We got we got double main range. That's good enough. And and we have enough money to do a reset on the next floor. Okay, wonderful. So we have splash radius. We have double special charge, but it's on the between crosshair <laughs> stage. I don't I don't know if I want to do that. Or if I want to do splash radius, which increases the radius of damage and turf inked by explosions, and I think this buffs the the blaster. Do I care about more special charge? Do I want to struggle between crosshair? No, I don't want to struggle between crosshairs. Absolutely, <laughs> I don't want to do that stage. Not with the Luna Blaster of all. Definitely, like, my movement feels a lot slower than I remember it being. Oh, oh my, my aim. <laughs> my aim is so bad. Oh, no. Come on. No. Th is this really going to be that much of a struggle for me? Okay, okay, got one of them. Okay, I need, like, fire rate up. Is that a thing? Is, is fire rate up a thing? I'm pretty sure it is, because I need more of that. This is this is way too slow for me. Special charge up. All right, we'll, we'll get the special charge. I think this is supposed to be like the range palette, but we're getting quite a bit of damage from it as well. Okay, the special is very, very useful. Nice, cleared it for me. All right, what do we have next? We have nothing. I think I'm gonna floor reset here, because it's cheaper to reset than to not buy anything, okay. I can get more range. That way we're more of a range blaster than a Luna blaster. Not to be confused with the rapid blaster, which has even more range than the range blaster. But we don't we don't talk about that logic. <laughs> I I don't even know what happened there. But I'm pretty sure my shot went through the sponge. Okay, and oh main firing speed. I think main firing speed is not part of the orange palette. Is it collection? Yeah, collection. Main firing speed is not part of the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do we have? Main range, splash radius, main piercing, ink attack size, ink coverage, special charge, and hindrance damage. Which means I have to floor reset here because I want to do this as a monochrome. We'll do the turf lucky chain, I guess. Nice thing about lucky chain is that that's when it drops the extra like refills and armor. With pearl bombs, which are very useful. Unfortunately, they're hidden behind a, a pearl drawn chip. I don't think it automatically unlocks the pro bombs. I like acrobatic triangular. It's such a simple stage in my mind. We just go in a triangle. And that's the strategy. The triangle strategy. <laughs> so first 10 floors, I mean, they're supposed to be the easy floors. I thought they were pretty all right. Some of them felt a bit monotonous, especially the eight ball ones or infinity ball, whatever it's called. And now time to fight the elusive bounder. Um, we do have a bit more range, so it shouldn't be as bad, but let's see, let's see how it goes. I think the strategy here was push him into one of those bouncy, bouncy pads, and that makes him open. Ooh, makes him open up, I was gonna say. Yeah, okay, maybe. If I can, if I can actually reach him, if I can, <laughs> no, he's so far away now. I'm gonna just let them do their thing. What would be funny is if, like, them hitting him actually, like, healed him. That would really suck. Oh, I wish I had more special charge right about now. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We've cleared this. Definitely picking up more special charge. Okay, we have vending. We're going to go with vending machine. We have a lot of money. All right, main piercing. Perfect. Now we can be an extremely overpowered Luna Blaster. And we've reached a thousand. Wait, I can refresh once, right? 200. All right, one refresh. We didn't, we didn't get anything useful. All right, we have main range or special charge. Um, ah, dang it. Oh, dang it. If I pick up main range, we're going to be more likely to get special charge in the future. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do the easy floor. <laughs> it doesn't make much sense, but just tr trust the process. Trust we're, we're reducing the bag of Cheez-Its with the random Cheez-Its we can pick out. That is the worst example because usually they come in a bag of one flavor per day. Not a sponsor. Oh, now we can get the guys from far before they can flee. Before they have a chance to run. We can just blow them up. Oh, that's really nice. Is this what chargers feel like? That was fun. Okay. Ink attack size. I still can't quite tell what this one does specifically. So, of course, what I want to do is I'm just shoot a shot here and, and, and then be very confused. Because it looks the same. Okay, maybe, maybe this wideness here is a bit wider. I think that's what's going on. Someone smarter than me in chat. Let me know. I'm not in chat. This is not a live stream. <laughs> this is this is definitely not live. It, could, it actually could have been live. I could have hit go live. Hindsight 2020. <laughs> Another high score. Okay. I'll take the high scores. If it says updated, that means you got a new high score for your thing. 
All right, splash radius. We will take that. Okay, here we just want to push them to the other side. Cool. Yep. 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 That. Yeah. This is definitely going according to plan, and and not at all in the wrong direction. Not not at all. Okay. Okay. You want to go up there? You go. You go. You go, girl. You do your thing. I think maybe it's just because I'm using a blaster, but these they just feel unnecessarily difficult. Okay. Go. Go. No. Oh, get out of the wall maybe because I'm playing it like it's a soccer ball and it's it's an evil ball and no no you're going the wrong way <laughs> no it's on the complete opposite end of the stage I think we all the eight ball stages in apology these these feel very frustrating right now do I yeah I want I want that special charge we're gonna take on a danger level danger projectile spam I think I think I know what's gonna happen here. Oh, it just lights out. Okay. I have no idea what stage I'm on. I know I did the stage tier list. I have no idea what stage this is. What stage is this? The un I think it said uneven floor. I see where the two spawner. I think I... Oh, okay, okay. I vaguely recognize this now. It's funny as if most of these guys are gonna go after me. I just need to stay out of the zone. I'll be fine. We can get some splash radius or we can vending machine. I mean, we have enough coins. Okay, whoa, we have we have really good pool on the vending machine. All right, we're gonna max out our special charge, I think. Oh, this is so risky though, because then we can only refresh once. So it might it might break the monochrome, but <laughs> oh, it feels so weird to go in with like less than a hundred. Let's hope our luck is not bad on this next one. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I think I'm just gonna max out the main piercing. Oh my gosh, it goes from four to eight ridiculous this this gets ridiculous at its max wow she now that i think about it i'm not sure how much this benefits the blaster because you kind of want your blast to, like hit a thing and explode i think it pierces right i can't even tell with this i need more than one enemy to spawn at a time that that would also be helpful i mean it seems to explode as soon as it hits them right i know i have piercing but it seems to explode as soon as the the thing touches them I'm not sure if it hits behind but We'll find out in a better stage than this. I remember Spring and Jamboree was always like the, the easy stage. It's the comedic relief stage of the middle floors. This is the middle child of the middle floors. Ink attack size. But it's more of the 8 ball. I don't want to do 8 ball stages. I'm tired of them. Alright, bigger splash radius. That I can do. And I think we're going to get a bit more enemies here. So we can actually see what the piercing stuff does. And I can't tell if this explodes like as soon as it touches them. Oh, look at that. It's the lucky bomb drop, but it's not the right color. So we're going to have to refresh more splash radius. I'm still not even sure what this is doing, but I'm just picking it up because it's nice and orange. And we got the splash zones. I remember struggling on the stage so much. Okay, so the memories are still there. The memories of the struggles, they remain with us. And then I think basically the strat here was just just stand here and spawn camp. Just spawn camp these guys specifically, the flying ones. Ah uh, yes, peak gameplay right here, gamers. I mean the the Luna's looking cool. Look at all those nice little features they added on there. Okay, let's spawn this guy. Oh, they're all dead. I think I think what happens is when they explode, their like death explosion is is bigger. I don't know if that's intentional. I'm just seeing things. But uh, spawn camping complete. Peak gameplay right there. All right, time for the second boss, Intensifying Harmony. We're gonna be fighting. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be like Agent 4. Why is Agent 4 Intensifying Harmony? Eh? Eh? Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this is why I don't play an X rank. Yeah, yeah, go, go where my special is. They're not smart enough to jump. Well, that's good to know. They're not smart enough to jump over the the thing. The thing, you know, guys, the thing. It's the thing. So, like, once they fall, they're not going to jump over it. It will just explode them. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I was two seconds, or rather two frames, away from death. What do you guys think? Should I have died there? I, I think I evaded death by mere frames. All right, we have enough. To where I'm gonna go to the vending machine instead of do the danger floor because I'm hoping we have better odds there also our palette is like half empty not half but like we have like a solid roll that's just not even touched yet all right hindrance damage we're gonna buy all that and then we're gonna refresh and I think we're gonna I don't do I want to refresh again 
Not really. Sounds good. Inking the ground adds to lucky chain, even though we don't have any lucky chain bonuses. Like, this is the most confusing of the monochrome palette ones. Because, like, the blue one is all about movement. The red is all about power. And then we have... A s oh, no item drops. Wow. Oh, yeah, the pro drone one is all about pro drone. But this orange one, I think, like, they describe it as range. Which, I mean, yeah, it gives me main piercing. And it does give me more range. But then some of the abilities, like special charge, what does that have to do with more range? What does hindrance damage have to do with more range? It's got damage in the name. Turf lucky chain? That's more paint related. So I think it's like a weird combo of, of range and paint. Yeah, the splash radius and then you have splash damage, which is so much more useful than bigger splash radius if you combine the two. <laughs> oh, oh, this gives me an idea. What if I did one of these runs, but I try to make the ultimate clash blaster where we have high splash radius and high splash damage and piercing and, and fast. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you'd like to see another one of these. All right, we're going to max out hindrance damage. I don't want to do an eight boss stage. It's, it's that simple. <laughs> the one thing I was not expecting when coming back to this. It's the thing that the 8 boss stages were that annoying because I was like, oh, this isn't this isn't as tough as an Octo expansion. The ball the ball gets pushed around more than this thing does. By these guys. Ink Saver main, we could fire off like a gajillion shots. Oh, 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 I'm cooking. I'm cooking, but not in this run. <laughs> in this run, we're just a slightly longer range Luna Blaster. Uh, how are we doing on the palette? All right, we have five more free slots and we have four abilities we need to pick up. And we'll have like one free slot for something that the game gives us at the end. We'll make it just one tiny bit off color at the very, very end. But that's okay because we're literally out of chips we could pick up at that point. Oh, I wasn't looking at the stage. No, this this won't be a problem. I, I right? It's gonna it's gonna lock itself in just like I've locked in right now. And then we're gonna push this, and then and then they're all gonna focus on me. And it's gonna lock in. Stop! Stop approaching it! Let it lock in! No! It's gonna it's gonna lock in and we're gonna clear the stage. Nice and easy. The simplest of stages. No, I hate eight ball stages now. Uh, I don't remember them being this miserable. Ooh, do I wanna hit up vending machine for this? Why not? Why not? If it's lower case, then that is an L and it sounds like Pearl. Why would it be called Priz? See, the R and the Z are lowercase. So this means that the letter in spot number three is also lowercase. So it's pearls, not Priz. Oh, look, we got more Priz. Okay, we're moving on. We're leaving. <laughs> Although Priz is more fun to say than pearls. I will give you guys that. Okay, and this is Splash Radius, which I believe is the last range chip we can pick up. Yeah, even though this says range, a lot, a lot of this is more like paint related. Because I'm not seeing much of this relates to range other than literally main range and splash radius, which boosts the range. But if two out of the seven have nothing to do with range, I don't know. Naming conventions, whatever. It is what it is. Time to get the last one and then we get a free slot. Field of explosions. Oh, of course it has to be the field of explosions. Hold up. Hold up. Ho ho. When they say range... It boosts the explosion range of these things too. They usually don't reach each other. And then I can just do this. And this will trigger the... This will trigger the puffer fish. Okay. It would have been cool if the special triggers the puffer fish. Because then I literally would just sit here and do nothing at all. And I would clear the stage. And look at that. New high score. Okay. I take it back. This, this, this run is also pretty fun. As long as there's puffer fish in the stage. Okay, and this is our last ability to pick up. The question is, do I want Splat Ink Recovery? It's just barely doing it. It's 2%. Nah. Do I want Splash Damage? Yes, because we have explosions. <laughs> so we're going to pick up Splash Damage. Slightly off color at the very, very end. But that's because we ran out of orange. Don't glide. All right, whatever. <laughs> just one shots the zone. What is this? All right, we're going to spawn camp again, I guess. Yeah, they don't show up on the other side. We're just gonna spawn camp, right? There's no other spawners, right? I'm not going crazy. Okay. okay, I'm not going crazy. Maybe I am. 
I just don't realize it yet. Okay, and now we're just gonna get some extra pearls. Um, Unreasonable Mountain! Let's go! For some reason, I think this has become my favorite stage. I don't know if it's because I like mountains or because it's, it says it's unreasonable what in fact is. I mean, it's pretty reasonable. There's five spawners. You just go up and you blow them all up one by one. This might be like my new record for Unreasonable Mountain. I, except I'm doing so little damage, but let's see. Is it? Okay, this is not- I've done this faster. Okay, one last stage to go. I don't want to do zones. I could just do zones. I could. Fine, let's do zones. I think I just one-tap the zone anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, if you remember at the start of this, I was like, I don't want to do between crosshairs. Because I can't paint the zone with this. Now, that's kind of frustrating, you know? I do not one-tap the zone. Okay, two-tap the zone. Okay, the last disc is up there. I kind of want to pick it up so that things don't spawn. And I think the disc despawned. That's great. That's that's wonderful. Oh, I see the disc. I, oh, I see what they did there. They put the splashdown guy on the beluga. So when you splat the beluga, the splashdown guy spawns in. And if you splat them on the zone, that's clever design. Kind of annoying, but it's clever design. All right, and we have made it to the final floor with our um, range palette which I think is more of a paint palette. And let's see how effective is this palette. I think, I hate to say it, but I think this is the one I'd least recommend. Like I'm, I'm just rewinding back to having the power palette and the speed palette, the range palette. I don't know, I don't feel it's overpowered right now. Like I feel like we're on even footing right now. Me and this little guy, he's very little. Indeed, he's tiny, he is small man. For the big man, this is small man. This is little man, a little baby man. I like how big the explosion range is though. Look at, it, it reaches him. Nine, oh, we, we can't even like, uh oh. He's spin, he's spin beats at us. He got that eight, he actually has the eight balls, his eyes. Now that this thing moves, it's extra annoying. Okay, we got the first one. I think exploding one of them slightly reaches the others. It's not that bad, but it could have been better. The range palette, I don't know if I'd recommend you guys monochrome this. I'll be honest. Like, I mean, if you want a palette that doesn't make you feel overpowered, I think this is the... Ooh! Okay. I haven't seen that move. That's a really cool looking move, though. But, like... Uh... Go, special, go. Go, special, go. He's sending shiver at me. Come on, special. You can do it. You can do it, special. Surely. Surely I'm not about to blow it on the on the final stage. Come on. Come on. Just kill him. All right. Oh. This, I, this feels like that one game where you're trying to, like, not blow up the balloon. And your friends who do blow up the balloon, they're the ones who lose. <laughs> I think I lost. GG's smallest. GG's side order. Alright, so overall, now that i finished this, what do I think of Splatoon 3's side order half a year later? Well, I kind of wish I could keep the pallet power-ups so I could, like, use it in a training room. Also, I kind of wish the extra Priz converted to something because <laughs> I think I just lost, like, 800 Priz that I've gained from this run. They're just, they're just gone. They're, they're gone into the void. I don't know, playing through the tower is pretty fun. Despite not playing through it for six months, some of the stages still kind of felt a bit repetitive, <laughs> I will say that. I didn't remember the eight ball stages being this frustrating. And I think I think it just might have been the monochrome I personally chose. Yeah, so like the, the power one, it makes you do a lot of damage. And it's extra fun if you have like the Splatana or the Splatling. Support, I'm curious if this one's much fun. I, this looks like you just get a lot of ink. Support is like the extra ink and then you have the knockbacks. So this looks like a, I might try out a support run as well, just cause I'm curious. Cause I, I never, never did do a support run. I've done power and I've done mobility. The drone one, you just let Pearl do her thing essentially, right? But like this just gives you the drone power ups and you can only pick, I think like three at a time. So you can't have all of these. And then, and then you have these essentially like splat drone gauge and then splat drone gauge charge, right? This get crazy lucky drops and then the lucky drops do everything for you. Mobility is really fun because it just makes you go fast and like it charges your special instantly. This, I don't know, I didn't feel, I thought it was going to be like really, really cool, but I, it just felt mid. I don't know, I didn't feel overpowered by the end of it, which is not, not that bad of a thing because I could at least experience a bit of a challenge when going up against the final boss, which isn't the case with all of these builds. But then part of me just enjoys being overpowered and just one-shotting him.
I don't know, just could be a personal preference. Uh, I think aesthetics are pretty nice. The gameplay itself, I mean, it was pretty fun. Would I do a few more of these? Yeah, actually, I would. I would. Anyways, if you guys want to see more of these, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you'd like to see me do. Should I try out the purple one, which I just believe is just going to be sub bam, just spamming bombs everywhere, bomb rush, brush coming back. Or should I try the lucky chain one? I don't know. Build, build a crazy clash blaster? Crazy Clash Blaster, eh? 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 Anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for this run. I hope you guys enjoyed my shenanigans. And uh, I'll see what I do more in the future. But uh, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. You too, little shrimp lady. You too.